In this video, I'm going to show you uh, a couple examples um, in the classwork, average atomic mass calculations, that will hopefully uh, help you get started um, and answer any kind of questions that you might have <clears throat> as you're working through this assignment. So when you're working with average atomic mass, remember that you're comparing or you're relating the mass of the isotope to the percent abundance um, of that same isotope. So you're comparing the mass of that isotope to how much of that isotope is found in nature. So one of the things that you need to be aware of is that relative abundance is the same thing as percent abundance, okay? And every time we multiply or calculate with a percent, we need to remember to move the decimal place two places to the left. So for this isotope, <clears throat> the relative abundance is 60.108%. So when I calculate, I need to move the decimal two places to the left, and I get 0 0.60108. Make sure you use all the, the digits given to you in your calculations. Likewise, 39.892%, if I move the decimal over two places to the left, then I get 0.39892. Okay, so keep that in mind that before you do any calculations, your decimal needs to be moved to the left, and that's only 4% abundance. You will not move the decimal in your masses. Um, these mass decimals will stay the same. And make sure you use all the digits that are in here. Do not round 68.9 269.0. Use every single number that is given here. Do not round until your final answer. Okay? Your final answer will be rounded to the nearest hundredth, but not until then. Okay? Let's look at um, another example. So one thing to, that I want you to keep in mind here is that there are three isotopes, isotope A, isotope B, and isotope C. In each case, you're given the atomic mass and the percent abundance of isotope A, the, percent, the mass and percent abundance of isotope B, the mass and percent abundance of isotope C. Okay, here are your percent abundances. These decimals need to be moved two places to the left. Essentially, you're dividing by 100. Okay. Um, so you're doing the calculation three times. Mass times percent plus mass times percent plus mass times percent. Let's move on. When you get further on, um, let's say looking at question number six here. It says a naturally occurring element X consists of two isotopes. So X is a fictitious element. It's just showing you or telling you that um, that is the, the element in question. And it says it's got two isotopes with a mass of 151 and 153. It says that X151, remember this is the hyphen symbol, so it's the symbol of the element, a hyphen and the mass number has an abundance of 48.03. X-153 has an abundance of 51.97. Figure out the atomic mass of element X. Okay. So X-151, this is your mass, and it has a percent abundance of 48.03. So remember to move that decimal two places to the left. One, two, and that gives you 0 0.4803. And then X153, this is the mass of the second isotope. And it has a percent abundance of 51.97. So when you move the decimal over to the left, you get 0.5197, okay? So remember, it is the mass times the percent plus the mass times the percent. 
Since there are only two isotopes, I only have to do this twice. Um, looking at question seven. Question seven is telling you that there are four isotopes. So you're going to have to do the calculation four times. Um, and it's telling you that the masses are 84, 86, 87, and 88. Okay. These are your masses. Uh, and the other blue one that's highlighted as well. Now, keep in mind their percent abundances are given to you as well. And they're given as percents. So make sure that you move that decimal to place it to the left. So this one becomes point zero zero five zero. And then nine point nine, two places to the left becomes point zero nine nine. And seven percent, if I move that to the left, one, two, that becomes point zero seven zero. And 82.612 becomes 0.826, okay? So your calculation is mass times percent four times because you've got four different isotopes. And the last one I want to share with you is this question down here. And what it's given you is the nuclear symbols of each element, Y. And this is a fictitious element, fictitious element Y. Remember that the number on the top left is your mass number. So all four of these are your mass numbers. So these are the masses that you're going to use in your calculation. And don't forget to move your decimal points two places to the left when you calculate. So because there are, oh, I forgot one, five isotopes, you're doing this calculation five times. So it's the mass times percent plus mass times percent plus the mass times the percent plus the mass times percent and how many is that one two three four one more plus mass times percent equals okay so you're gonna have to do this five different times with your five different isotopes okay Make sure that you keep all of your decimal places until the very end when you calculate your final answer.